guys and welcome back to my channel my name is mariah and here on my channel i post physiotherapy um university and travel related content um yeah so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe turn on notifications at all so you never miss a video now those formalities are out of the way um i thought we'll jump on here and just talk about how adult life is freaking scary so last night i watched a talk by um james armstrong He's um, a physiotherapist and he does YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, etc. whatever you name it, he's on it. Um, so he did a webinar about like applying for jobs and um, like, that process of preparation, personal statements and like interviews and everything. And I'm not going to go over what's in that um, webinar, like check it out yourself. It was a very good webinar. I enjoyed it and I learned a lot from it so um, I think he's offering one next month he said so definitely check that out and if you're interested in that and you want to learn a bit more about that but I just want to jump on and talk about how scary adult life is so I personally haven't started like actively looking for jobs um I'm personally in a kind of comfortable position where I know that when I graduate I have a job not in physio I still work where I work now so I have a job, so it's not like, ah, crap, my money's going to run out because I'm no longer getting student finance. Like, you know what I mean? Which some people were probably in that position. Um, <laughs> but right now, I'm like in a phase where, like, people on one side are like, I'm already applying for jobs. And on the other side, some people are like, nah, I'm going to wait. And then we've got me here in the middle like, I want to apply for jobs, but the area I want to apply to, I can't yet. Lovely. So if you don't know, um... I'm from London, but I study in Birmingham. Um, and as I'm from London, well, not necessarily as I'm from London, but let's go. Yeah, I'm in from London, studying in Birmingham. But when I graduate, I want to return down to London. I don't want to study, like, work or live in the Midlands anymore. I want to come back down. Not necessarily London itself, but like, if it's ideally London itself, but south, down south, basically. I want to come back down south. And um, what I've noticed in many areas, especially the London area, Many of them jobs that rotations that are up because I want to do band five rotations. I'm having an issue because those people are obviously applying early, and many of the London ones you can't apply until you're registered, which won't be until probably August, early September. Which, if you know me, I don't like the limbo stage, so I'm very much like, uh, say if I don't find something in time. Like, because quite a few jobs have been coming up and I've been looking at them and I've been sending emails being like, can I apply? And many cases are like, no, because we're looking for someone urgent. I'm like, fair enough, but it's worth me trying and like asking because you don't want to go through the whole application process. And then they say, we'll keep your, if you know, your application on file and we'll contact you when something pops up. I don't believe, I never believe that. Like, it's a nice way of going, there, 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 you didn't get it. Like, in my opinion anyway. But, um, <laughs> so yeah so in the meantime as i can't apply to things in the areas that i want to apply to things i'm still keeping my eye out like um one thing i'd recommend if you want to go to the nhs is definitely setting up the nhs alerts um if you don't know how to do that and you want me to like make a reel on how i did it it's pretty easy but i can do that um yeah like so i've set up that so i get job alerts every week just in case something does pop up but what i've been doing with this time right now other than focusing on my dissertation, working and focusing on an assignment that is due and just trying to prep my whole life, what's it called? I've um, also been looking at when the jobs do pop up, even though I'm not eligible for them right now, I look up what rotations they have and what rotations that trust the hospital offers and I take note of that. So then when it comes round to, yeah, I've got my papers and I'm registered now and that place pops up with a, you know, something, I'm like, Okay, I already know what kind of rotation you have. Obviously, I'll double check. Maybe something's been added, something's been removed. But, like, I'm familiarising myself with what areas, which hospitals are more likely to pique my interest. Like, there's some where, off name value, I'm like, mm -hmm, I'd go there. Or convenience for location, I'd be like, yeah, I'd go there. But then, when I look at the rotations, I'm like, elderly care. Okay, you called it that, but realistically, that's just elderly care. And nothing against elderly care. It's just that most of my placements have involved a huge element of elderly care, which we're going to expect in the NHS, obviously, as in people are getting older um, and staying, you know, older for longer and everything, and just people are living longer. So you're gonna see more elderly people. 
but I still want more variety that I've kind of been achieving in placements because I've had different types of things going forward in that sense. But um, yeah, I don't like it's scary. Um, I still plan on like taking you guys with me in terms of when I like start applying, like whether it's doing like a sit down, apply with me type thing, or um, maybe even asking you guys questions about applying because like you may be watching this as a person who's already a physio. Most of you guys are either people who are physio students who watch my channel or people who are like here from about transferring universities and you just stumbled across this video. Um, but like everybody is just slightly different. Um, and but maybe we all have our kind of expertise that will come together and help each other as well as myself. Um, so yeah, but the idea of like adult life and hearing that some people have already, some people in my course have already secured jobs for September. And it's just interesting like how different every trust and every location is. Because I can't do that here, which is a bit annoying. Because um, like my idea plan would be like, as you know, I have several trips booked for the year. Like my ideal plan was to go on this big trip, come back from the big trip and then boom, start. Could still happen, like I'm not closing the door on it. It's just a lot of limbo stage that I'm currently in about that. But the next thing, um, currently in this position that I'm in now, the main thing that I'm focusing on is continuing to build my CPD. And I'll do a whole other video on CPD that I'm probably going to film later today. <laughs> um, since I have so much energy after the gym. But um, like the CPD self trying to build that. And I heard down the grapevine that it's wise to start setting up your HCPC at, um, that account. So then when the time does come around, all you have to do is like add in your certification basically and get it approved by uni. I don't know how the uni does it, but Berms told me how they do it. And it's kind of like they send the information to them, kind of blah, blah, blah. Like, long story short, they do the, a big chunk of it. And then I just go, yeah, cool. Um, but um, some people said it's best to like set up an account Get all the long nah, 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 stuff out of the way. So when the time comes, you're like, boom, I have my registration, start applying for jobs, or let your job that you've already applied to know, hey, registration's come through, boom, boom. Can I come in on Monday? Not necessarily Monday, but you know what I mean. Um, it's just a lot to think about, and I'm not sure if many of you guys are in the same stage where like you're thinking about jobs and everything, and like one big thing, like I was back to rotations, is that there's so many so many various rotations like i'm just sharing all the random things that are going on in my head right now like there's some places where they have four month rotations and i'm like hmm that appeals to me more than six month rotations just because six months is a long period of time and if you don't get an area that you're interested in not necessarily interested in but like that you prefer because you do some places give you a say other places don't give you a say and let's say i got an area that i've already been in and then i and i wasn't a big fan of it when I did it as a student, and now I have to do it for six months as a qualified, I'm a bit like, yay, thank you. But, um, you know, you know what I mean? It's kind of like one of those things. And if some people even now already ask like, when do you know when you want to go from a band five to a six? And I know I'm really jumping ahead here compared to that, obviously, because I'm still a student, I have not even touched band five and I'm already talking about six, but like, some people are like, oh no, I only want to do rotations for a year. For me, I'm like, I only want to do rotations for two years. Um, so if I do a six month rotation place, that means I only get four, maybe three rotations. Which for me, I'm a bit like, mm, no, I kind of want a little bit more than that. Oh, there's so much to think about with adult life. Like, will I relocate? I don't know. I'm open to relocating. Am I happy working on the other side of London from where I am? I don't know. Depends on what it is. Depends on the pay. Depends on the rotation. Like, there's just so much. Too much to think about. Hence the title. I don't like this. Carrie. <laughs>